Laravel Heart is a PHP and Laravel development environment which packages all necessary tools to quickly start developing Laravel applications. But besides Laravel development, Laravel Heart also supports several other popular PHP frameworks, in particular Symfony, WordPress, and others. So in this series, we're going to review Laravel Heart development environment. It is available for macOS as well as for Windows operating systems and comes with a nice graphical installer, so we can quickly get up and running in seconds. After we download Herd installer, all we have to do on macOS is to drag its icon into Applications folder, and we are all set. And when we launch Laravel Herd, there will be new Herd icon in menu bar, from where we can manage different services provided by Herd. And after Herd installation, there are several utilities available to us in the terminal, such as PHP Interpreter, Laravel Installer, Composer Package Manager, as well as Node Interpreter. And all of them have been automatically installed during Laravel Herd installation. Now let's open up Herd settings and review some of them. In the first step, we can specify the path to those folders with our projects which we'd like to be available in the browser. For example, by default, all projects stored inside of herd folder, which is inside of current user folder, will be available in the browser automatically. But I can easily add additional folders by clicking on a plus icon. But I'm not going to do it this way. Instead, I will manually add particular folder with the project via terminal. And we will see how to do this later on in this lesson. On the second tab, there is an option to quickly scaffold new Laravel application by clicking on this plus icon, where we can choose one of the options in here. First option will scaffold default Laravel application without any starter kits that provide registration and authentication functionality, such as Laravel Breeze or Laravel Jetstream. You can choose any preferred option or we can manually scaffold Laravel application from within the terminal by running Laravel, new, and the folder name with the project, which can be any name you wish. And inside this folder, Laravel installer will put default Laravel application. I have already run this command and created the project with the name Laravel Heart. Also, when running Laravel new command, we will be presented with an option which database to use. I have chosen SQLite, but how to use another database management tools, we will take a look in one of the next lessons. So this folder contains default Laravel installation. Usually I store all projects inside code folder, which is inside of my current users folder. And if I would want to make all the projects inside of this folder available in the browser, I could easily add paths to this folder in the herd control panel that we have seen earlier and then all project folders within this code folder will be available in the browser. But in this case, I will do it manually, and to make this Laravel Herd project available in the browser, we have to run the following command inside the folder with the project herd link. And after this, inside herd's control panel, we can see new entry in this list, which means our project is available in the browser under the following address laravel herd dot test. And if we'll switch over to the browser and open up this address, sure enough, we will see welcome page of the default Laravel application. Another way to make all folders available in the browser within a particular folder is to run the following command herd park inside of that folder with all our project folders. And please note that the domain name corresponds to the folder name with our project we can easily switch PHP versions used globally as well as used for a particular project. As you can see, my global PHP version is 8.3, and I can activate different PHP versions from within this menu. For example, let's try to activate 8.1, and now if I'll run PHP version again, I can see that now different PHP version is used, which is 8.1. This is how we can configure PHP version globally that will be used system-wide. But if we would want to configure particular PHP version to be used only within a specific project, 
we could use this list and specify a particular version for this website. In the next tab, we can install additional PHP versions. Let's try to install version 8.0. And right after installation process completes, new version will become available to choose for a particular website in this list, as well as in the list of global PHP versions that we can choose. I'll choose a newly installed version of PHP 8.0, and run the common PHP version to make sure that that new version is indeed 8.0. All right, now let's get back the newest version of PHP, which is 8.3, and continue. Just like we can manage different versions of PHP, in the same way we can also manage different versions of Node Interpreter. My current version of Node is 22, and if we'd want to use different version, we could install it from within this screen or update an existing version of Node that is already installed. And by the way, Laravel Heard uses another tool to manage Node.js versions, which is Node Version Manager or NVM. So if we'll try to run NVM list in the terminal, we can see the list of all available Node.js versions that we can choose from. But in addition to those, we can also install new versions by using this tool. Firstly, let's try to change version of node by using NVM use and specify version. I'll use 20. And now if we run node version, as we can see, the global version of node was changed to 20. And if we'll have to install additional version of node, we can do so by running NVM install and specify the version that we want to install. And then let's activate this version by running NVM use 22. And finally, to uninstall a particular version of Node by using NVM, we can run NVM uninstall and specify the version of Node that we wish to remove, like so. Link to the repository of this playlist will be in the video description. We'll continue reviewing Laravel Heard in the next lesson.